There you go, guys. <clears throat> so I come home earlier on, hoping to do some, <laughs> some work on that thing. Um, and get primed and everything on the inside of it. Oh, by the time I cleaned up in here, because <laughs> it was quite a mess, I just didn't get a chance. Um, but I want to make a um, door skin hammer, because um, I don't have one. Um, like you can use a normal hammer and dolly and whatever like that, but with a door skin hammer tool, um, it'd be a lot easier because of what they sort of what they are. I'll try and explain it. Um, so it's like that, at about like about two or three inches that way, and then it's bent down. So when you are actually hitting, um, oh, I'll set my phone up on the tripod and I'll come back to you in a second. <laughs> Can't explain with one hand. <laughs> right. So what it is? <clears throat> so this is good. So instead of being a short hammer like that, it's got like a long piece on it and it's bent down. So when you're coming down to hit on the on this on the folded over edge of the door, you're sort of hitting like that and you're away from it. So that's what I want to make. So I'm gonna sacrifice well, wow. this is one I made ages ago. So I'm gonna cut that off, put a um maybe a bolt or something like that in here, and then cut that and, and then weld the head back on. I may add um, <clears throat> something else on the other end of it just to give it a little extra weight because I normally both sides. I'll throw a picture up on the uh, on the video when I edit. Um, but yeah, I just want to make that, and I've got a few sticks of timber that I sort of cut <clears throat> that are about the right length to make a handle out of. So I'll make a quick handle as well, and um, I think I've got some wedges somewhere. It might be in the box at work with the other gear so I'll cut this off weld on a piece and then we'll I'll probably yeah I'm just because I've got any heat here I'll just I'll just cut it bend it down and then we'll have the head on or we'll wipe the head on and then cut it and bend it down whatever you know what I mean so we'll uh, go over to the bench and we'll <clears throat> make a hammer Oh, probably what I'm going to use is something like this or maybe something a little bit heavier if I can find something a little bit heavier and um, I might use that out that other side maybe just for a mix, mixture weight but I also want to um, I may actually I might make, make another head and put it on the other side I might do that and leave that there that might be what I do because I want a, sort of a, quite a wide Sort of skinny head. I'm not sure I'm going to find something a little bit longer than that. Or a little bit better. Just for some extra weight. Give that clean up. That because that'll give me a nice <laughs> piece to weld on to. Oh, 
supposed to come up like a hammer. <laughs> oh, it's wet in the bar. Alright, let me get back to work. That sucks. Damn it. Nah. I'm gonna pour something up and turn it into a beer. That's what this will have. Well, don't worry about that, then I'll go do something else. <laughs> well, since I can't make you make the hammer, I'm making the cleaning up the handle, so I've sort of semi made one. Um, I'll, I'll sort of finish it off to the point where it's sort of about ready to go on a hammer, and then I'll show you how I'll make these, how I'll make them. <laughs> what I've got is basically this. I've um, actually turned it down on the lathe. Um, it's probably, this one is not quite fat enough for, um, for this. It'll probably be alright, I can make it work. Um, but it's alright for, because I've got a, a, quite a few heads I could hang on it, on some hammers. So, um, I've got three bits of wood, well, three pieces I cut. I can probably make a thick one if I have to, to out this bit. That you like it would fit right in that end, if you know what I mean. So, what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I made it. <laughs> Pretty simply. Um, sorry, I'll see if one of these is a bit bigger. One and a half dozen the other. Doesn't matter anyway. <clears throat> I can make it another handle for that other one. But I'll turn the camera around. So I'm just using the metal lathe as a wood lathe, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. What I actually did for a start off is just round this end off a little bit on the um, on the uh, bench grinder. I know it's not ideal, but <laughs> it works. <laughs> so I'll just I'll round this off a little bit so I can clamp it in the jaws of the vice. <laughs> Grab the other, other hammers that I've got here, but this is like quite a bit long compared with the other handles. The way I shorten it down to, uh, well, rounded it off to go on the um, end of the lathe, like it, it's all right because, like, hopefully that might be just in, in, in just in the end of the uh, hammer, maybe a little bit of it, or I can just have it like a slightly shorter handle. It's not going to matter too much. So I just made it so it's a bit easier to grab. Hopefully you can see here, alright? And I don't end up too much in the road. So I think I left my little, um, my little, what do you call it? Tripod. Back at the other workshop. <laughs> well, let's carry on here and see if we can get something done. I'll just on here, get a feel for what's there. It's not too bad, there's no adjustments in there. Just want to make sure how reasonably It is what it is. Keep it up. <laughs> Alright. I'll just turn it down, basically. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, lathe, the poor old lathe, the, the old lathe's not very fast.
So I'm we'll just rough in. Then you know the original filling handle. <laughs> it's still bigger than that one. These are probably just a little small. This isn't bad. I could probably bring it down some more if I really wanted to. Um, look, it's, it's actually still bigger than I. Um, uh, I, don't, I can't remember what brand this is. But it's a good one. Look, it's got that sort of snap on style hammer handle on it. So I could, I could make it smaller. But it's just the end. <clears throat> when it goes into some of those ones I made, it needs to be a reasonable size. So that would be right. I could just, I can shape the rest of that by hand and slip that on the head if you know what I mean. I can alter this a little bit if I had to. I could even cut it and squeeze it in. I can do the last one just to make it a little smaller. So I've got one more here. <clears throat> See if we can get this one too. So yeah, the tripod's better go flat, so um, or well, the gimbal. So yeah, I'll I'll fit these up tomorrow, and I'll um, probably once I've got that door skin sort of sorted out, got some paint and stuff on it. I would have probably might put this bit up as a separate video, making this hammer and fit these handles. I might just do that as a separate video, but yeah, that's cool. Give me a couple more hammers to play with. And um, yeah, so I can get a, a door skin hammer made up, like I said. So yeah, cool. Alrighty guys, we'll catch you later on. Beautiful. Just needs a wedge in it and cleaned up. Final trimmings. <laughs> Some days. <laughs> one on Or, or a bit hanging the other one.
in the meantime, until we get the hit modified. So it's cool. It's so done. holes and screwed some screws in and now start putting the skin on or well, attempt to start putting the skin on but I still need to sort out this ha hammer um, and it's getting later in the day so I've just got back here so I thought screw it I'll um, since I've got gas here <laughs> I'll get this hammer half start or made up anyway so I'm going to weld this one here um, and like blow a whole heap of weld in here and make it nice and strong hopefully and then I'll um, whether I cut it and bend it down or whether I just heat it up with the gas and then bend it down because um, I, I want it on a I don't know like a I wouldn't say a 45 but probably a, a 30 degree angle and then um, I don't know if I'm going to weld a piece of this on because I want to heat about probably about sort of an inch and a half, sort of pushing towards two inches wide as far as thereabouts. I thought about welding that on and then maybe um, or actually heating this up hot with the um, with the gas and um, holding it over the uh, handball and, and beating it times and actually making it a bit flatter and then welding it on. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> we'll like weld it on the like where the, the big wide side. I might have to cut some of this bolt off yet. Made a welded on type of thing. Um, but yeah. So I want a nice. But I haven't really got anything else big that's like a decent size. But yeah, I think even if I heat that up and just flatten it out, it quite a bit, you know, sort of splay it out a bit. With a few decent bashes and a hammer. Um, that one fuck would it would be nice to have something bigger to do it with. But if I just heat this the end of it and draw them, spread it out, get it nice and hot. Um, something I can do too, so I might do that. So you might do that first, see how that spreads out. Eh? I think it should be nice and strong now. <laughs> Forge welded it together. Cool. Now I can grind it and shape it. Shit, I see what the time is. That's dumb. I thought I had the frickin' video going. I just 
ground up this on the uh, and just trim the handle up a little bit to fit it. Um, so yeah, I'll just ground that up on there, and I'll just give it a now uh, I make another clean up with the um, what do you call it the um, little angle die grinder, and just carry around and clean the rest of it up, and just smooth it off basically. Take sharp corners off and crap like that. Grab the hammer, a bit of a grind up and a cleaned up. Just to try and you know, get rid of some of the worst, the ugly weld and everything of it. Um, just make it look a bit more nicer, I suppose. <laughs> so, um, I've got one wedge here, um, like a proper proper wedge for hammer, um, and I'll just make another couple tomorrow. So, I'll bang this one, this one here, and uh, I'll have to make a slightly small one for this. And. Uh, Something about that size for this might be alright too. I'll just have to be. See, this being fairly hard, um, I just have to be careful it doesn't split or anything silly. But, it's alright. I'm going to bang this one in. And then I might just, uh, if these are sand, something a bit smoother, and then um, give them a burn off and then give them another sand. Right, and gently a more a little bit of like 240 or something. Awesome. More hammers. Apparently you can even have, have enough hammers. Kill. Hopefully it does what I want. I think it should. I think it should. Alrighty guys, we'll uh, spot you later on, but yeah, those, those three sorted, that one modified the head, um, or remade the head I suppose if you know what I want to call it, just going to put wedges in these two tomorrow.